It's Warcraft Yay! Greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. This time around this game is going to be on Turtle Rock and this is going to be an Undead Mirror by Mofad. So we got the replay requester Mofad spawning at the 5 o'clock position of this map opening up with the Graveyard Crypt build order. He will be facing up against a player known as Tyrain who is also an ender player and he is also opening up with Crypt Graveyard. Going to be as mirror as possible for the time being. Uh, Mofad at the bottom spawning as yellow. It's not yellow versus uh, red of course. I have to state the obvious. And before we state more obvious, I have to also tell you about replay request which is a series where anybody and everybody is encouraged to send me replays and I will be casting them during my replay sessions during my ca uh, stream sessions and later on uploading them to my youtube channel there we go that is open now I can talk to you guys you guys can hear me right uh, or am I being too soft newbie uh, jockey anybody there Booster is also up, so it looks pretty good. This is an opposite spawn, and of course, uh, you can't have the possibility of any more close spawns these days because of the intervention by Blizzard and Reforged. I'd love to have a Turtle Rock format where you will always have a close spawn, like, that would be amazing. So we're gonna have Crypt Lord on the side of uh, Mofad and he will be facing up against, you guessed it, a Crypt Lord. You know, we only just had a, a nice little thumbnail with this one. Should have it somewhere. Have to check. And I'll be checking that later on, of course. So, it's going to be Crypt Lord versus Clip Lord and I had a nice little thumbnail. Where, if you guys are aware of that Spider-Man meme, where Spider-Man comes uh, across another Spider-Man and he's pointing at him. Is complete. So far, so good. Can't really say much about uh, the fight. All I can say is, Script Lord was Script Lord. Does seem to get very interesting these days. Going to be coming down on the second hero selection as well. DK is kind of a must for the Undead Army because of the Unholy Aura and Death Coil. But if you go for Lich as the second hero, you have the chance to do deal burst damage with Impale and Frost Nova. And if you go for Dreadlord, then you can go for Vampiric Aura plus burst damage with the Carrion Swarm. Sleep is also very useful. And you have so many opportunities opened up to you. Uh, in this particular meta right now uh, as compared to the early me uh, as compared to the l previous decades meta where you would only and only see death knight 90% of the time during games I really like how this has progressed and we have here Tyree on his side has not begun creeping at all I'm actually a bit uh, concerned about this one not sure what he is planning to do but it appears that he is heading towards the orange camp up here should be okay or he wants an expansion he does have a sacrificial skull he sold off his tp uh, so far none of the players have done any kind of scouting so they don't know what's cooking on the other side of the map they don't know where their opponent is but since the uh re since the past few updates or past uh, well, a year uh, update since a year or so we do know that on turtle rock it's not a possibility anymore to get a close spawn so this is why tyrain confidently walked to this location over here because he knows that mofad is not there his opponent is not there he can go in there easily and creep that camp out with his ease and put down that expansion without having uh, to face and deal with mofad and knowing that mofad is likely not going to come in uh, well, I think you come to think about that. Uh, thinking if Mofad is going to 
uh, rush you or uh, try to attack you or not, there's a really high chance that an undead versus undead opponent could turn out to be a rush because undead versus undead uh, can start off really strong with Lich. Lich and Ghouls, uh, Skeleton Warriors, Frost Nova at that early stage is amazing and you can still get the Death Knight at uh, tier 2. Once you hit tier 2 you can get the Death Knight and you can get all of the abilities that you needed to fr uh, get from the Death Knight. But you have all of the abilities by the Lich at, in the early get go. Undead vs Undead has transformed a lot over the years. So yeah I mean thinking about that there was a good chance of uh, Mofat going in for the uh, Lich plus Mass Ghoul thing over there. But th that is not what he has done and Tyrain went in for a rather risky expansion move over here. Well of course he could have retracted uh, anytime he got attacked but uh, he said I'm gonna try my luck out and he is successful in doing so and everybody is like seems good seems good seems good. <laughs> Alright, AnubiXD says, I personally don't think this uh, early fiend uh, fast expo style too slow, especially if against another race. Um, could be, could agree with that. But uh, for this situation here right now, uh, Mofan has no idea of the starting location or any idea of this expansion coming up. So even if Mofan barges in over here and, you know, uh, just sees the blight without seeing most of the buildings over here, he's not going to be able to figure out that this is indeed an expansion until he gets in there and just sees the necropolis and a couple of uh, spirit towers there. He's not going to be able to figure that out. He's got double potion of greater healing. Yikes! That Rip Lord is not going to die anytime soon. Rogue of Magi and Mantle of Intelligence over here. So this uh, Rip Lord over here is oozing with mana pool right now. You got double the mana. And he's uh, one level behind uh, Mofad. Mofad is at level 4 and uh, on the Crypt Lord. And uh, Tyrion is at level 3. Got a nice impale there. The pact is sealed and Mofad is getting his Death Knight to the fight. Beetles against Beetles, Spiders against Spiders. A big spider kingdom fight over here going on. And what do we have here? Probably a skeleton warrior. No, it's actually double ghouls. Ghouls are attacking the gold line while Tyrain is attacking Mofad's army. And we have a big fight going on right now. Tyrain, although, doesn't seem to be on the winning side right now. He doesn't really want to win from what I understand. He just wants to disrupt and he just wants to take out as many units as possible. And I would say he's doing a really good job of doing that right now. Managed to take out a fiend. Two more fiends are super weak right now. He is giving away good bits of experience to Mofad with those beetles. But he's also uh, delaying Mofad from um, creeping a bit more. Death Knight is out, so Mofad will be strengthened immensely with that Death Coil. We're likely going to have Unholy Aura real soon, as soon as that Death Knight hits level 2. Rip Lord is dangerously close to level 5. Tyrain needs to be on his toes right now. Okay, this uh, ward belongs to Mofad. And... Ward... Wait. Dude, this, oh my goodness, Mofan actually has access to both of the wards. That is huge, especially considering that it's an opposite spawn and we have both of the players attacking each other's ways. Of course, Mofan is attacking with an entire army and he's attacking the expansion. So after checking up at this uh, spot over here and seeing no altar, no graveyard and stuff like that, he definitely knows that this is indeed an expansion and not his main gold mine. Mofan is struggling to attack that uh, spirit tower and Tyrain is already inside Mofad's base. Now here's the situation. Tyrain, he's on two gold mine. Mofad, he's on just one of them. And uh, Tyrain would have been better off with the two uh, potion of healing, uh, potion of greater healing that Mofad actually got early on. That would have been a better item for him, better drop for him, but sadly he did not get that. He does have a staff of teleportation which he's going to use to uh, return back to his base. Did he get did he get the Aqualites? Yikes, that's going to be huge if he actually got the Aqualites. And Tyrion sending in a couple of fiends to save his expansion. And uh, good for Tyrion that he didn't actually end up losing anything. In fact, he actually got the Death Knight down to very low HP over there, which had to heal up using the big HP potion there. 
got some options statues coming in by mofad that's going to be helping in healing and regenerating the mana as well and of course later on be transformed into destroyers and oh mofad's uh, economy is disrupted big time right now and thyron is not gonna leave anytime soon the extra intelligence with the mantle of intelligence and rope of magi has proven to be dangerously good for the crypt lord this is something you really want to think about at times as uh, a hero like a crypt lord who has very low mana if you actually give him something like this and that's gonna boost his mana pool a lot if you look at mofad's uh crypt lord over here is about to be level 5 there we go level 5 crypt lord 300 mana only and if you look over here level 3 crypt lord where did it go i think it tp'd in there we go it's tp'd in it's just half of the division we got a level 4 okay it's a level 4 crypt lord now it's not like 450 uh, mana there that's 150 plus mana there's so much you can do with 150 plus mana over there you can use um impale more impales uh you can keep on spawning more number of beetles uh you can uh refresh them sooner and yeah i mean that's really all you can do as a crypt lord until you get to level six the passive ability doesn't cost you mana and impales are super good stun ability uh well, it's basically an aoe line adjacent line stun and it's really good to think about it it can work really well with the nuke the undead which are really famous for nuking uh, impale just brings a really good game to that and super impale there by tyrade mofad is the best he can to attack and keep the pressure up almost ended up losing that obsidian statue may lose it over there beetles and skeleton warriors are super super annoying right now mofad hitting level uh, he already hit level five on that crypt lord some time ago and uh coming in fiends coming in it appears Mofat pushing in and take out those damn skeleton warriors and beetles and get some level 3 beetles of his own these beetles are devastatingly strong 400 hp and 22 base damage 22 base damage on I mean, of course how does the da damage calculate that's a different story completely which i can't ex exactly explain but this particular carrion beetle is actually stronger than a footman it's also also a little advantage that beetles have over other units is that they have faster movement speed than regular units so if we're gonna have a chase the beetles will always win uh, in a fight where you have um, a lot of uh, uh, chokes and stuff uh, within buildings the beetles are going to be very de detrimental there Mofat stealing a good amount of experience there by killing off those beetles one by one Tyrain needs to get something done if he wants to win this game well it appears Tyrain is actually putting down all of his buildings at his expansion now since Mofat is more interested in taking out his main Tyrain is pretty fine actually right now considering the fact that uh, Mofat is only on one base Tyrion is on two bases Tyrion has his two bases well fortified Mofat does not have enough of an army to break that fortification so this is really Tyrion's game right now Mofat coming back into this is going to take him some time and also at the same time Tyrion is attacking Mofad's base which is by the way his only mining base. Crypt Lord almost getting taken out over there using the staff to get back to the base but he's gonna leave behind the death knight. Oh that's not gonna escape. Looks like they managed to kill one of the acolytes before they left. Mofad is still on the attack. All of dead. About to reach death now people tend to say oh he killed off his hall of dead oh he killed off his barracks well grammatically that's i don't think that's grammatically correct you can't kill a building a building doesn't have life you can demolish a building but you can't kill it so i should rather stop referring to uh, you know using that same uh statement and making the same mistake just like everybody else does and you know be a sheep or something I should actually 
be saying that okay that building has been demolished the hall of dead is about to be demolished the fiends attacking from the back line there they don't have any attack upgrades neither does mofad first demolisher hitting the field for mofad actually managed to get a uh, demolisher upgrade as well after the big fight and what do we have here tyrant once again going for mofad's base now here's the situation mofad's struggling to destroy something at Tyrion's base. I mean, he destroyed whatever he could in the front line over there. Destroying any of anything else right now is going to be a bit of a trouble for him. He does have the firepower and, you know, as soon as I start talking about something that, okay, maybe that won't happen, it just kind of happens. And at this point of time, I think Mofad is going to take out that Hall of Dead and that Hall of Dead has been demolished. Yes, it had been demolished and not been killed. We got TP coming in, Mofat gonna TP back to his base and his base is under heavy assault. Death Knight almost got taken out over there, he did! Death Knight was under uh, effect of a cold uh, slow by the Lich probably, probably a Frost Nova. It's taken out, uh, Tyrant breaking up keep. I think they probably did it earlier as well. Could have done it from the very get-go considering the fact that he had the expansion from the very get-go and this expansion is absolutely what's have been haunting Mofad far so I'm gonna have a situation right now Iron's gonna get back to his base he's also got a temple of dam now he hasn't made uh, okay he has actually necrom necromances uh in Necromancer being taken out as well. Big impale by Tyrain. Also getting the Lich. Lich being targeted this time. Option statue taken out by Mofad. Tyrain suffers a feed loss. Second feed loss for Tyrain. Incoming. No, manages to save it actually. They need a death coil to save it. And oh no, the Lich. Lich! And gone. Fiend has been squished. And Tyrion actually making his way towards Mofad's single base. Mofad by now should have actually upgraded a second. Uh, yeah, there we go. He's doing it now. And he should definitely have a Nerubian tower down somewhere as well. Why you ask? Well, he's pretty much aware that Tyrion has two bases. And so far, they've been playing a... Game of base race is what I'd like to say. Mofad at this point of time doesn't have enough firepower and time to actually take out two bases. Especially when they're fortified with like three towers over there. While Tyrain, he doesn't need that. He's only going in with his singular Crypt Lord and just wreaking havoc inside there using the beetles and using his impale ability. And the extra mana pool has been proven to him. Has, uh, has proven to him uh, absolutely astonishing. Like, having just that 150 extra mana on the Crypt Lord has proven so useful to Tyrain. Tyrain upgrading his second build uh, Necropolis over here. Now, in my opinion, he should have just upgraded this one. And even if he put this one down, it should have been okay. He, he had no reason to put it down to begin with. That was kind of a waste of resources. And he cancelled it. He cancelled it. And he's upgrading this now. Wow. Really had done that. So we got Mofad uh, now concentrating on Spirit Towers. Something I guess he should have done some time ago now. Death Knight and uh, Crypt Lord still uh, at the fight there. Oh, hey there Pennyfish. Welcome to the stream. I'm just going to read your... Um, chat there in a moment there we have a situation going on which I do not want to miss Mofat taking out the second spirit tower now going after all of the Aqualiots um, Tyrain's economy is gonna be affected a bit since those uh, units have been taken out he will still be mining the gold though so super base race going on super base race Mofad finally managing to kill most of and yeah all of the acolytes. He's gonna kill the last acolyte. He's gonna take out the Nerubian Tower and probably take out the Haunted Gold Mine as well. 
But now you have the situation where here's the thing. Tyrain, I mean all they gotta do is just make more skeleton warriors here and kill off everything he can. If Tyrain manages to take out the Black Citadel, Mofad will have nothing to TP back to, but uh, you're also gonna consider whether he has a TP to begin with. Whoa, level six Crypt Lord. Tyrain will not be able to deal with that. Mofad leaving behind beetles and making his way towards his base to save it. So there we go. Penifit says, "Hey Stormy, I do, don't, I do not play undead for a very long time. If red cast coil on yellow's unit, uh, will yellow unit take damage? Actually, no. That's the whole situation in undead versus undead. Your death coil is only a heal, only a healing ability for your own units. You cannot uh, cast it on uh, enemy undead units at all. So uh, it becomes, it, you know, 50% of his usage is already compromised." in an undead versus undead scenario a big impale there by mofad and mofad is by the way level six right now uh, but only has like 330 of a mana pool that's pretty low for a level six hero and uh, he ought to have a couple of mana boosting items in my opinion he is killing a couple of fiends well making his way towards the army of uh the army of uh, tyrain tyrain five uh crypt lord there Big level five crypt lord with 480 mana. Yikes! That's a lot of mana for a crypt lord, and this is something that definitely uh, one should take note of while playing as an undead player. If you get some mana boosting items, uh, you really want to put that put them up on a crypt lord. And oh no, this looks bad. This looks really bad. Crypt lord, the crypt lord is gonna get taken out. Mofan had some really good micro there with those obsidian statues and those. Obsidian statue sealed the deal for the Crypt Lord and for Tyrain as well at this point. The Beatles took out the entire base. Whoa. I said earlier, these are as uh, these are stronger than footmen. Not as strong, they are these are stronger than footmen. Level 3 carrion beetles. So we have a situation now where Tyrain has lost his entire main, but he does have an expansion well planted and uh getting a lot of more stuff there. Got a clutch moment over here. Oh no, Death Knight, Death Knight, Death Knight gets taken out. And this is pretty much GG actually. Tyrain lost his main. He has the expansion up, but until the time he's gonna be able to make anything, Mofad will have attacked him and will have finished him off. Uh, Pennyfish says, thank you, I see. So this is the reason why Undead Mirror always Crypt Lord first or Night, Elf, uh, Night Stalker first. You're referring the Crypt Lord to a Night Stalker or the Dread Lord to a Night Stalker, I guess that makes sense. So yeah, Undead vs Undead, um, going for Death Knight actually has a disadvantage than an advantage. Well, you kind of want to have the Death Knight for healing, you kind of really want to have him for the Unholy Aura, but going Death Knight first is not really the best option. You can go for Dreadlord, you can go for Lich, you can go for Crypt Lord, as we have seen uh, for the duration of this particular game. And uh, get the Death Knight as the second or third hero. Dreadlord. <laughs> Indeed. So, Mofan's gonna, just gonna chip away the base bit by bit. And uh, there's no altar, he's planning a boneyard over there, but it's 18 CP and C2 late for Tyrain. So, this game, which. Uh, was mostly a base race with Tyrain attacking Mofad's base and Mofad attacking Tyrain's base. We had some really good fights as well. Uh, those were pretty short, but they were there. And okay, Tyrain actually got his hero back at the tavern. And what's he gonna do? Is he gonna attack Mofad's base? He did manage to take out the main building for Mofad. And okay, something I didn't cover. Mofad has no acolytes. When did that happen? Mofad lost all of his acolytes in the fight with Tyrade. Whoa, beetles! Goodbye, I go to sleep. See you next time, nice cast. Thanks for joining, Pennyfish. You're welcome all the time. Carrion beetle upgrade. Actually, no, that's Locust Swarm. Locust Swarm, ultimate being used. And, well, most people would say that uh, the practicality of uh, being able to use that and now, oh my goodness, Tyrant using Mofad's graveyard against him. You all, that's another thing in Undead vs. Undead scenarios where you can use your opponent's graveyards and Tyrant leaves the game. 
though I'd say pretty cool game. Pretty good day game there, my bad. Hope you guys enjoyed this wonderful game. Thanks you all for joining me for cast. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, do not forget to hit the like button on Facebook. Sub uh, what? Did I say Facebook? On YouTube. Subscribe for more and follow me on my Twitch channel to catch the games live at 1600 UTC. Nearly everything. And that's gonna be all. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching the there being steady haven't tried it out okay i guess you guys are talking about flowbot and putting here all for joining me video you episode of warcraft